All right, I'm getting the uh, wink from Eric. Strong parental advisory this morning. Oh, I, I think something in his eye, actually. Is that it, a wink? Yeah. Are, are you are, do you have something there? in your eye, or are you just telling <laughs> me that. strong parental advisory? I was just trying to eat my bar here. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. It may not be suitable for all ages. Listen to discretion is advised. Yeah. See on delay. Okay, so all off. Yeah. Dot com. Oh, sorry. Yeah, anytime you sing on something, unfortunately, Don't. you're you're a second off. It's oh. like you're an echo. I thought yeah. she was doing Aww. that on purpose. <laughs> no. No, wait, to me, it was right on time. <laughs> I love that little Phoenix yeah. song. She's trying to, she's trying to give sing. him like a little yeah. text. Yeah. Yeah. Let's sing again. Try right, here see we go. Ready? No, it's going to be off. Do it, do it. May not be suitable for all ages. Listen to discretion is by. You're way off. Yeah, but in my headphones, it sounds exactly on top of it. How strange is that? Like uh-uh. two million people. <laughs> well, in any case, go to krbe.com. I don't have to sing at all, but it is uh, kind of fun to hear Phoenix telling you about maybe you, this is a little adult content. Who knows? Eric's in charge of it. God knows how he's feeling from one day to the next. Let's get to the phone, shall we, and find out who we have here today for Revenge. Kristen standing by. Hi, Kristen. Good morning, guys. Hey, Kristen. Good Welcome. morning, Kristen. So what brings you to Revenge this morning? Oh, you know, I just want to get revenge on my sister, Greta, because she deserves it. Okay, huh. so is this... This is like a funny ha-ha, jokey ha-ha revenge, or you guys hate each other's guts and this is just going to seal the coffin on the relationship? A little bit of both. <laughs> oh, wow. How can it be a little bit of both? Okay, explain. We like to do things together like shopping, right? We, our kids are kind of in the same age group. We also buy similar things for our kids. So we had our weekly shopping trip together, and she grabbed her shopping cart, and she knew I wanted a rotisserie chicken. So she hauls ass, and in doing so, she runs over my foot and broke two of my toes. Oh, my God. She broke two of your toes? Over chicken. Over chicken. (laughs) Hold up. You're telling me y'all are in the Costco, and you treated it like supermarket sweep to get to those giant chickens? Yes. And she has not apologized. She knows that I went to the doctor and I have medical bills. She's not offered to pay for any of it. Have you asked her to pay for it? Yes, she actually called me a dummy for going to the doctor because, you know, I had to get it checked out and I had to get a cast. But what was I supposed to do, just hobble around and just hope it fixes itself? Okay, so she um, hurts you, does not take it seriously, then ridicules you for trying to seek medical attention. Yeah. Is this what all of this revenge is based on or is there other stuff that's been building the last God knows how long and this is just it? Oh, no. This is the reason why I'm getting a little payback on her. Well, let's get your sister Greta on the line. Uh, she's standing by on the line. She doesn't know why she's here. Eric knows why she's here. We're going to find out why she's here. And so is she. Let me welcome her now. And you can tell her what you did or what you need her to know. I'm ready. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan show on 104.1 KRBE. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'm really curious to know what's going on. I know. She's well, a fan of the show, so she knows about revenge. Oh, you do? Well, do you know that we have your sister on the line? I do. Did not. Hey, Greta. Kristen, explain what's going on. Well, sweetie, you ran over my foot and you never even owned up to it or paid for my medical bills. Oh, my God. Like, are you... Wah, wah, wah. It was an accident. Greta, okay? are you even remotely sorry you did this because it's all over a rotisserie chicken? What happens? I didn't do it on purpose. There's nothing they can do for a broken toe anyway. I had to get a cast. What do you mean they can do nothing? Like, I had to set it so they can heal. I can't just walk around with broken toes. Oh, my God. Look, well, now you're a double dummy because that doctor is just charging you out the wazoo. Oh, my God. You're adding insult to injury. Where's your empathy for your sister, at least if if you don't want to apologize? I've had broken toes before. There's nothing they can do. Okay, so because you had a broken toe, now you're going to uh, diagnose oh, and tell everybody how mm-hmm. it is. Oh, well, my I God. because you went through I something. cannot. Everyone's different. Okay. Everybody's pain and, is their own, you know? And listen, Greta, I don't understand. I mean, this is your sister, right? I mean, this is not some random stranger you've never met. You don't want to care about. About her. This is somebody that you grew up with, and she said y'all are raising your kids together, all the things, and you just have zero empathy for her pain. What is your problem? That's so odd to me. I just don't understand why she's continuing to make such a big deal out of this. Probably because it hurts and <laughs> because it's an inconvenience. Weeks ago, that's it, just weeks. Do you see what I'm dealing with? This is what I'm dealing with, right? Okay, well, let's, let's hear what we don't all know. What we don't all know, <laughs> Greta, is that Kristen has something more to reveal to us all, so why don't you do that now? I understand you had a little problem going on your weekend getaway with your husband. <sighs> you s- That was you? What happened? Oh, let's just say I put a female toy in her bag, a sort of adult item, and 
it was made of rubber, and I put screwed some nails into it, and she got stopped at security. Oh, my God. That's a lot of work. We missed our flight because of security. They had to, like, pull us aside and go through all my luggage. Where did you think this came from, this item? No, I have no idea, but my husband is furious at me. You purchased something on your own and put it in her bag, or she had something, you got a hold of it, totally manipulated it, and then put it back in her bag, and that's what caught her at security with the metal. Oh, I know. I purchased something brand new and put it in her bag. Oh, my God. You put screws in it so that, oh, so the scanner and, and, could go off? I How mean, embarrassing. obviously your husband's mad, Greta, I'm sure, because y'all missed your flight. Well, not just that, but he wanted to know what the hell I was doing with this giant thing in my bag. <laughs> I mean, aside from the massive scene that is, you know, security's causing, he, like, won't Oh, my God. Wah, wah, Greta. It's not a big deal. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be awkward. But they- you guys How did know. you get access to her bag in the first place? Because I was watching her kids, and she was packing. That's how. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was an accident. You ran over my foot, and you never apologized. You're like, oh, it's no big deal. And I broke my toes, Greta. Hey, Greta, what'd you do with that item? Did you, like, put it back in your bag and, and walk away? Oh, hell no. I don't want that thing. Yeah, it's got metal screws in it, Eric. That uh, can't be comfortable. Oh, the <laughs> things that TSA has collecting. Yeah, TSA oh, wonder. the things that TSA's a dump bin. Their Christmas party has to be awesome with all the oh items they have. God. Hey, my question is, how was the rotisserie chicken? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, was it worth it? My rotisserie chicken was delicious. I don't know about Kristen's. Think about all this okay. that happened because of a chicken. Not to mention, I'm just fighting with my husband. Well, he's probably wondering why you have that thing with you. Oh, I don't know how this adult toy got in my bag. That's the last thing you want to tell TSA. I don't know how that got in my bag. They're going to search well, everything. Well, actually, Eric, yeah, you're right. I don't know what I'm saying. We've been holding that on to Ryan with his secret little toy box for 15 years. Oh, but yeah. we found it in his safe. Ryan keeps his in the safe. <laughs> he I keeps do not have it. not his. They're referring to something his. that happened when I first got divorced. And I found an old safe in, it's on YouTube. in the garage. Will and Ryan's safe segment, and you'll and see was, Chocolate uh, Thunder. Chocolate Thunder, yes. So maybe that's why I did get divorced. Yeah, maybe. She had that in storage. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any case, Kristen and Greta, I don't know if you're going to go to your corners, if you're going to reconcile or whatever, but uh, now you know it was your sister, Greta, that did that to you, and that's why you missed your You're flight. welcome. Bitch. Okay. Oh. Anytime. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for uh, calling us, Kristen. And you guys behave. Behave. Your mom is not happy with this situation. Behave. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, guys. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. You know, I, was, I still can't believe this is all over that. a chicken. Uh, I mean, I've never had the Costco the rotisserie chicken. But I feel like I'm inside the Costco, there's like a hundred of them. And they're so big. How do they get them so big? Oh, that's what that's why <laughs> steroids. That's why I like like Central Market Whole Foods. Yeah, I want like, that all organic, free range stuff it's without not all the as chemicals. Big, but there's a reason. At least you feel like yeah, you're not pumping it. Certain things aren't yeah. supposed to be that large. It's like the turkey legs at the rodeo. How I want to see the size of this dang turkey <laughs> that these legs came from. <laughs> I mean, these are like Planet of the Giant what turkeys. People, what makes people want to eat those things like when you go to festivals? You just feel like, like you're in the moment. It's, you, you, it's like, look at me my turkey leg. It's just part of the moment, just like cotton candy is. Like, I don't have oh, one never in my life have I, I actually have gotten one. Have y'all ever had one at the rodeo? I've never yeah, had a turkey they're leg. They're really the hard to eat, too. I don't want a turkey leg. They're, 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 like they're dry. dry. They are dry. They're not, uh, they're not juicy. The one that I had was not dry at all. It was real juicy. He, They're you, real tendony. Uh, you know why, Sam? Yeah. Yes. You remember Very at tendony. the rodeo, Eric? Oh, <laughs> it's juicy. That, it's that bit. Juicy. Juicy. Yeah. Juicy. Like, that's all the guy says <laughs> on a loop at that one that has that giant grill rack with like a hundred turkey legs on it. Yeah. Juicy. Now you've got me Get thinking about the rodeo legs. carnival food. Like, oh my God, my favorite is, of all the deep fried things, I would have to say the best ever has the deep fried Snickers. That one is. Mm. Ooh, I love the Oreos. Deep fried Oreos. Oreos are good. Not the Snickers. Mm. Yeah, it just melts. It just looks like yucky. Yeah, it's like, who cares what it looks like? It's what it tastes like. I mean, it's so melty. It's like, yeah, no. It's like Oreos are very rich and messy. And then you have a Don't try and eat that on a stick. Do that Can you Tuesday. imagine a Snickers on a stick and then it falls on you? Oh, God. Oh. That's like a nightmare. And you white it's going to ruin your day. Go buy Who's a new outfit. white pants inside while they're eating a deep fried Snickers. Yeah, you and your white jeans. pants after Labor Day. It's a challenge. Everybody knows this, Eric. Not in Houston. You can wear white all year long. No, but we're talking about rodeo time. I'm Sam, it's March. It's March. Right? You don't know, I don't have the white You're jeans whack. with my cowboy boots. Oh, yeah. No? No. I, I bet there's some ladies out there with some cute yes, white so jeans. Yes, probably some ladies, some, sure. but I can't imagine a lot of dudes. Like, you know, got my white Wranglers white on. White is not safe. I've never seen Well, oh, white I, is um, a taboo color to wear to a wedding. 
Yes or well, yeah, no? The bride's supposed to be wearing that. Now? <laughs> that is uh, a gonna, yes. That is a yes. Do not go to a wedding trying to look like the bride. That was people. a bit. All right. We, we wanted to do one time at the rodeo. We wanted to all wear those like painter outfits or white, and we were going to eat like a oh. barbecue and then go on that slingshot ride and see who could oh, be yeah. the Ew. cleanest afterwards. You what are you sick in not, the head. Not throw up on themselves? No, like no, and not eat, be stained. Trying to eat the barbecue. Oh, without, I thought. But then what's up. the point of the slingshot ride? Yeah, because. You, no, because it's you got to keep it steady, not yeah, get right. it all over. Oh, again. you're talking about taking the food on the yes. ride. Oh my god! No oh. way they would let you do that. <laughs> Sam and I were like, "Why are we going to eat and then go try yes, and throw that's up?" What I thought. No, no, we're not trying to throw take up. Take the rib with you on the slingshot and <laughs> see if you can get yeah, that. Yeah, I think you know, that might be a, in your mouth a, without smearing it all over your clothes. What do they call that when something's like a missile because it flies off the ride? Yeah. Projectile. Yeah, that's what, a projectile. Or it goes down your throat. Yeah. You choke. Good point. That's probably not. Probably not. But right now, let's switch gears. Speaking of weddings, it is the wedding omen game. Seven one three three nine zero KRB is our phone number. You're going to call us and tell us something that happened at your wedding that could be deemed a bad omen. And then we're going to guess based on what happened, did it doom your marriage? Or are you still married? Or did, is that couple still married? Maybe you saw something at a wedding that you attended. 713-390-KRBE. We'll talk to you next on The Rule and Ryan Show. 4.1 KRBE. It's The Rule and Ryan Show. Wedding omens. Hey, you got Bad right. wedding omens. We're good. <laughs> A yeah. omen usually doesn't sound like a good idea or a good time. No, that is really there's a bad scary Ryan. movie called The Omen. Yeah. Right, yeah. put the organ really good at practice. I didn't know you were so talented. Yeah. Who knew? It's organ music. Do they still here. play that at any weddings? Have you ever heard that? Well, there's at Kevin's in wedding. They did a lot of churches. It was beautiful. It was me. It was right. Seven one three. Three nine zero KRVE is our phone number. It's the wedding omen game. So here's how this works. You're going to tell us what happened at your wedding or maybe a wedding you attended. And then we're going to guess based on that. Is that couple still married or they get doomed? Because of that because one of that, thing that happened. The wedding omen. I mean, we've got pretty good odds of winning. I mean, 50-50 chance, right? Yep. We're going true. with Kate first. All Kate right. is up first at 713-390-KRVE. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Good hey, Kate. morning, Kate. Take us through your wedding day. But don't give us the, yes. the detail that's going to give away the answer. We got to guess, okay? So let's okay. go. Okay, it was actually my cousin's wedding. Okay. Um, they got married at a country club, and they got married on a deck, kind of overlooking the golf course. Big and deck. when it was okay. time, mm-hmm. when it was time to exchange the rings, the best man dropped the bride's ring, and it fell through the deck. Ooh. And so they had to do the rest of the ceremony without her ring. Oh, can I ask? No. Can I ask? Did they ever find it? Did they go like get a scuba diver guy or somebody to go find it? They did. They did end up finding it. Oh, it was good. on at the top of a dumpster that was below. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait, so because it wasn't over water. It was a deck at the golf course. It wasn't. It was not over water. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But they found it on right. a dumpster. Ooh, that's oh, ooh, that's another. That's the rest of the wedding. That's saying that wedding's trash. Are they doomed well, or are they still married? I say what do we that's think, guys? no reason for it to be a bad omen. It just it was a mistake. So I say what? they're married. Oh. I'll be positive and say they're married. Nope, it's over. I Eric say over. that since since it sticks out to her so much, it must be doomed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's Sam, what do you think? I'm going to say they're still together. All right. Two doomed yeah. and three, yes. Okay. Together. Still married. What's the answer, Kate? The answer, she had a great attitude about it. It has been a really funny story. They've been married for 10 years, and they have a beautiful little girl and another older girl that they adopted together. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Kevin and I are happy for them, but we're mad because we... This is all being filmed. You should have seen the look of anger in Eric and (laughs) Kevin's faces. (laughs) They're actually mad that they're still together. Come on. (laughs) Okay, we got one point. We got one point for me, Ryan, and Sam. No points for Eric and Special K. I'm glad they're together, Kate. What a sweet story. Thanks so much for calling our show. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The thing about this game is she can call back in a few years and tell the same story, and maybe they're divorced by then, you know? Don't, yeah. Eric, don't put the stop on that. Right. No, no. You just, your desire to win right. is just out of control. <laughs> Seriously. Camille is up next. Let's see what Camille's got for us. Again, it's the wedding omen game. You're going to tell us something that happened at your wedding or one that you attended, and we're going to guess based on what you tell us if that couple is doomed or still together. Don't give any details. It gives away the answer. Hi, Camille. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, morning, Camille. So is this your wedding we're talking about? This is my wedding. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Um, the day leading up to the wedding, I chipped my tooth. Oh, um, what? Day, How'd you do that? Chipped. I was, I chipped. was eating a piece of bread. Mm. 
Wow, that's is this a noticeable chip like in Dumb and Dumber? If no, if it was actually only on my side tooth. Okay, that's good. But you, why am I yeah, touching my teeth right now? Yeah, it was only on my side tooth, but oh. still, like I'm, I'm big on signs. Mm-hmm. So, oh, oh, uh-oh. uh-oh. So mm-hmm. that was kind of like a, a don't do it sign okay. for me. But I, oh, but, oh, I don't know about but that. when you're right? expecting so many people and people are already showing up, yeah, the day before you kind of. It kind of pressures it you almost to just sounds do it. Like Hold you're up, you're telling for me excuse. just for one chip tooth on the piece of bread, you're you're dooming your wedding already? Is that all we need to know, or do you uh, have more? Um, well, there was other things, but we're just going to go with with the 24 hours leading up, and then the 24 hours of. Oh, the I think you're yeah. definitely not together. <laughs> okay, I'm putting her down so she doesn't. She was just anything. looking for an excuse. Oh, I stubbed my toe. Can't get married. How do you? But wait, she told them on uh-huh. that there was they misplaced the ring and the certificate on the day of. They said they can't pay the rent. And she has a flat. T- she said all these other things to him on. Right. So why did she, yeah? Why, why are you only telling us about the bread? Excuse me. Couldn't couldn't find the wedding certificate. You said. Yeah, I couldn't find the wedding certificate. Could not find the ring, and then um Ooh. like a. Uh, the day of the wedding, he said that we blew through all the money for the wedding because we went over on our budget. Oh, I'm hearing and it in her voice. didn't have the rent money. They're Everybody not married. Everybody hears the hearing money. No, 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 no. Let There's me go. No let, let me go the other side. It's over. Let me go. The, I oh. think. I think you know she's thinking about it now, and she thinks, "Well, this was an annoying day." But really, at the at the end, they're she's still, still together. Yeah. Oh, they laugh about it. Now. I'll lay you money on that one. Kevin. I gotta hear hate in her voice. Yeah, I hear hate I know, too. She's like bit. annoyed. Like, I, I, I should have like, been over. Piece of crap! I should have. Right, so you go I'm going with my gun. I'm going, I'm going doomed. doomed. What you, okay. Doomed. How many doomed? How many doomed? Yeah, Sam. Uh, uh, Sam, do you think it's doomed or they're still married? I'm gonna right, say Sam? still married. <laughs> what? Okay, so we got two still married, three doomed. Story to this. Camille, what is the answer? Even though that was the worst day of my life, <laughs> we are still married. Oh, yeah. Wow. 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 But do you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> That's wow, you really didn't sound excited at all about being no. married when you described no, the story. Uh, that was literally the worst day of my life. Like I even woke up to a flat tire. I was uh-huh. at National Tire and Battery crying oh. and everyone was handing me tissues and I was telling them it's my wedding day. No one believed me. Well yeah, what? I'm I'm glad I was wrong. Day. I'm glad you guys are together. <laughs> well, and if that's, that's nice. the worst day of your life, you're doing pretty you're doing yeah, uh, pretty darn good right yes, now. Yeah, I absolutely love him. Yay! Oh, yes. Yes, well, yeah, we got on the this. show in many, happy, mm-hmm. many more happy years. She played that the game wedding well. Game. She did play that game Good well. Job. She had us. Yeah, she, I mean, she had us. Yeah. Kathy is up next at 713-390-KRBE. Kathy is uh, about to tell us a story about her wedding day or one that she attended. Is this your wedding or somebody else's wedding, Kathy? It, it was my wedding. Okay. okay. All right. Remember, don't tell us the details and make us think. You're getting scum- one way Sometimes, or I mean, we're getting thrown off because I hear like contempt in voices. Uh, already, I feel like she's disgusted she, with her ex. She sounds her really husband. irritated. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's hear what happened on okay. your wedding day and let's guess if y'all are still married. Okay, so we had like a backyard wedding kind of out in more of a rural area okay. and our lighting didn't get delivered. Um, oh, so we no. ended up pretty much in the dark. <laughs> Um, oh, no. And like the wind, the wind, my brother was running around trying to light candles and they just kept blowing out. It was, it was crazy. Our food ended up getting cold. It wasn't really uh, kept hot enough or served in a timely manner. Um, my three-year-old daughter was the flower girl and she tripped over the runner. Um, oh. It's actually kind of funny because we have like a succession of pictures of her going down. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> frame <laughs> by frame. So one of those like uh, wedding fail videos <laughs> that you get like 45 cent checks for every year. Yeah. It's on the reel somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but then one of my bridesmaids got super drunk, um, and the the groom's husband, I'm sorry, the groom's father um, was a cop at the time, uh-huh. and she was oinking at him like a pig. Oinking? <gasps> like oh, oh, calling the cop a pig. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, no. Did he oh laugh it gosh. off, or uh, was he... Irritated. Uh, he was pretty annoyed, but he kept uh-huh. he kept his cool pretty well about okay. it. I mean, I was. So you're telling me y'all are in the dark in somebody's backyard, yeah. and there's a uh, cold food and an oinker in the dark. <laughs> an oinker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Do we that's need exactly to know anything else? <laughs> I think they're together. No, I mean that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put her down so she doesn't have anything else. Okay. Okay. Lighting didn't say? get delivered. I think they're. Food I think they're cold. together. I think they're together as yeah, well. Yeah. She just so. remembers all so the details, and I can hear a little smile in her voice. Well, every and they bride got a remember all the details, Ryan. No matter if it was good a good bad. wedding or a bad, yeah, you remember true. all the details of your wedding day. That's for sure. I think they're together. Yeah. Together. I go with together also. Um, I'm going together on this one. 
But that's I'm, a unanimous. Sam, right. right? Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. We all believe that you are still married, Kathy. What is the answer? I have been divorced for over a year now. Oh, oh God, we all blew it. terrible at this game. You oh, got us. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened, wow, what Kathy? Happened? How many years? Wait, how many years? She said last year. No, how many no, years, how many years we were, did y'all last? We were together to almost six years. Only six married years. for two, though. Okay. What was the, uh, oh. what was the breaking point? You know, there was uh, a lot going on that okay. just wasn't wasn't what I needed. You needed to life. be on Thursday's show. Okay, I got it. Oh, got it. Got I it. See. Got it. Okay. We'll leave it there. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, man. Okay. Man. I'm sorry that happened. That means, Kathy, uh, but man, you put up a good story. Sam, you're yeah. the winner today. Yay! Hey, congratulations, Love Sam. Wins. Yeah. Does or does it? it? I don't know. Love wins? Well, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> luck wins. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't. No, it's love. Okay. Yeah. Little love y'all little go luck. to the listener line if y'all want to share a story with us. And then when you tell us a story, take a pause that we can guess. And then you can tell us the answer. There's some people on hold. Listener line. Amon's going to yeah. talk to him real quick and record them and then have oh, them okay. do that so we could play stuff. that game later. Okay. Yeah, okay, fun. good. Coming up next in Celebrity Scoop, we have a chance for you to get your scare on at SeaWorld in San Antonio. We'll talk about it on 104.1 KRBE. Please welcome Glenn Ryan's Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. It's brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston. All right, here's a chance for you to get your scare on. It's SeaWorld in San Antonio. It's, September's my favorite month because it's not quite Halloween yet. It's not Thanksgiving yet. It's not Christmas yet. But you can start celebrating all the holidays and getting ready for them. Howl O Scream at SeaWorld is happening. Hello and we've got scream. four pack of tickets for you to experience Halloween at SeaWorld San Antonio's Howl O Scream. It's the biggest and scariest Halloween in Texas. And it's running through October 29th. It starts on Friday, September 15th. Caller 10, 713-390-KRBE. That's 5723 on your phone. You're going to get hooked up. Those four passes to get to the scariest Halloween in Texas. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So tonight, not that anyway. <laughs> I like that. You really got into that. Ooh. Yeah. Boogie, 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 boogie. Uh, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay. So tonight is, uh, you know, listen, we are totally far gone from what the norm was 10 years ago, 15 years. It is really 15 it years ago. It used to be a big deal with the, the MTV VMAs. VMAs. We're like, wow, the Video Music Awards are happening. I can't wait to see who's there and all that. You know, the first time I actually was um, familiar with any Taylor Swift romance anything is when she sat next to the Jonas Brothers at the VMAs the year that nobody was a star. Like, the biggest star there was there was Rihanna doing uh, Disturbia, and that was it. Like, I didn't recognize anybody else. It's like nobody cared. And that's like, you know, they were, quote, dating, but nobody knew that. And the text message came, and then it was like, oh, Joe Jonas broke up with me. and Or like, not a text message. It was like a 46-second phone call or something, she said. Anyway, I remember that VMA where no one cared, and then it went downhill from there. There was like not really a lot of care. But tonight, it's happening, guys, live. Even though there are no writers, and the strike is happening, they're just going to go with probably like a lot of uh, banked videos from past VMAs. I think I might there actually are... watch it. If there's no scripts and they've got to actually be out there and ad lib, oh, that's going to well, be a they, train wreck. There, <laughs> There is a hint there might be something massive happening, and it could just be a ploy to get people to watch it. But the rumors are, the rumblings are, there could be an NSYNC reunion tonight. <gasps> could be, but there won't. <laughs> Justin Timberlake, be, but won't. Joey Fatone, and Lance Bass were all seen in New York yesterday. But then again, it was also 9-11 yesterday. And JC and Chris posted a 9-11 tribute uh, that included a New York City fire truck, but that doesn't prove they're actually there. But there's been talk. They got together to record something for Justin's upcoming uh, animated movie, Trolls Band Together. So it could be a great opportunity for them to debut it and kind of loop into the movie and all the things. They might come out together. Mm. I can see them all coming out. I but can't see them performing. But, yeah. So, uh, One uh, can only yeah, wish. Yeah, huge, step, huge step backwards for JT. He doesn't need to do that. He'll be out there for sure, though, because yeah. he has to promote that movie. Of course. Right. But he's got to make and it. Little, but he, he can't promote the movie now. That's the right. The actor strike. He cannot so do that. This is his only chance to come out with his old bandmates. Because mm. you can talk about music. He can do that because they're not on strike. Yeah, right. He could actually yep. sing a song from Trolls. 
But you can't talk about when it's coming out. I think out. the beauty of Trolls is they just sing hit songs. Right? Uh, yeah, it's, Trolls is a it's great a new, franchise. That's what I was... Cover tunes. Realize. Yeah, it's cover tunes. Like sing yeah. one or two, right? And they have so many yeah. celebrity voices in that. You know, it's really interesting because I remember when NSYNC first came out into the scene, Chris Kirkpatrick was one of like the main guys that put that thing to Like, that was part of the... Hey, yeah, he was like the first one picked, I think, with JC, and then they picked... Lance and Joey and Justin. And, you know, they if you went to Stratford High School in 19... No, not Stratford. Stafford High School. Stafford. Stafford High School in Fort Bend County, down 59 South. I had to go there for their lunchtime performance in sync outside in the field. And these kids were like, oh, I guess I'll go outside. There's a lunchtime performance. It gets me I didn't class. feel that anybody cared and it's so odd to me because if I was in high school even if I didn't care I'd be like wow that's interesting there's somebody singing during our lunch is that normal for somebody to come to your school and no, sing we during never had your that. lunch especially at that time when so. alternative mm-hmm. music was still it was there. dominating so the kids in high school are probably like, Who's, who are these guys also you would think that like uh, security might have been heightened because that was around the Columbine time so people were 90, very hyper in aware 98 yeah I just I just remember like there was a sandwich tray in the gym in a fruit tray <laughs> for NSYNC and they were singing um, not Tearing Up My Heart that wasn't out yet what was their first one I Want You Back they sang I Want You Back and they sang Turn Up My there's Heart there's probably like two girls that really knew their thing you know there's always that one yeah. kid that's always ahead of the game like they yeah. knew those what's so funny is anybody that went to that school they probably have like 20,000 people saying yeah I was at that show yeah, no, Who like, uh, listening right now to the Rule and Ryan show was in high school in 1998 at Stafford High School? Text me at 37530. Do you remember this? I should post a picture of the If you have gym. a photo of it. I do it. have a photo of it. I'm going to look through my phone when we do the news. And I'll post it at Radio Rule and on Sam, Instagram. you're going to be, you have some, you yes, have some Drake Yes, and if you're too. trying to go to concerts, Drake is here this Sunday at Toyota Center. And I have tickets for you at 1047 this what? morning. Get your bra ready. 1047. Yeah. I know, yeah. He's, he only likes double F. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down in H Town. It is brought to you by Duncan. I hate the story. Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter arrested for allegedly uh, beating up his girlfriend. 26 year old female sustained a laceration to the right side of her face. She complained about pain to her neck. He essentially choked her out, is what they're saying. According to police sources, the victim was so upset with the late hour that he came in. And he attacked her. Porter had just signed a four-year contract extension worth $82.5 million last year. Get rid of him. But I said earlier, like, just hopefully they cut him today, but they have to wait for the NBA to do their investigation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have to get with their lawyers because obviously they that's a lot of money. Looks pretty guilty. They want to get their money back. Yeah. But we can't even, I don't know, we just can't have that. No. It's not acceptable. It's until proven guilty, but I don't think you're, I I, I mean. Something like that, I'd. Sorry. You got to believe your eyes Yeah, is what you got to believe. Well, how about a positive story here? Uh, this is in cron.com. Vance Walker adopted the nickname Walker, Texas Ninja, when he was an American Ninja Warrior. Now, he's an 18-year-old Houston native. He becomes only the third person to win the million-dollar grand prize in the show's 15 seasons. Walker finished high school online two years early and moved to Tampa last year to focus on his ninja training. So he gets to go back next year. But we got a Houston kid, 18 years old. And uh, just won it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Only three people have ever done that. Houston SPCA and the Harris County Sheriff's Office rescued 16 dogs that were found starving in a Houston country home. Uh, 16 dogs have had to receive care at Houston's SPCA Animal Hospital, where they'll be transferred to a foster family program while they heal. Animal cruelty is a felony here in Texas, punishable by up to two years in prison and a $10,000 fine. If you have witnessed any animal cruelty... Please pick up the phone and call 713-869-7722. Once again, that's 713-869-7722. Or visit HoustonSPCA.org. And I think it's a great thing if you want to foster a dog. I mean, it's fantastic. These dogs need oh, yeah. help. All, all different rescues definitely are always looking for fosters. Let me mention this real quick too, Ryan, because I know there's a big one for a lot of people. And the I-10 corridor area, Good Company Barbecue on I-10, Hedwig Village, mm-hmm. had a fire last night. Oh, and man. And it caused damage to the restaurant. They say there was a – I mean, the video at KPR – go to that one Houston all the time. Is a lot. I mean, it looks like a – it looks like a substantial fire. Oh, no. It didn't take down the whole building, but it definitely did damage. Uh, they say they resp- mm. uh, firefighters responded to the call just before midnight um, last night. 
So it's the Good Company Barbecue right there on I-10 at Gaylord, it says. That's right next to that. Uh, Kevin, you know where it's at, that uh, vet emergency room? The dollar oh, hospital? Virgie? Yeah, yes. Good Company. It, it, it's right next to it's that. in the same parking lot, mm, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. So, yeah. so and that good company had like a lot of cool memorabilia inside. inside. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a, that was an old spot. And mm-hmm. uh, how many alarm fire? Did it say how many alarm? I don't see the, how many alarm fire, but definitely there is um, substantial smoke damage. Damage, and I mean, if you look at the video at Click to Houston, it's not small. Oh, <laughs> it's like, wow, that's, M-G. Uh, like, hopefully you see the flames shooting out the top of the restaurant. Hopefully they so weren't affected, okay. but I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yes. Coming up next, try it Tuesday. What is it that we are going to try? I don't know if it's a fail or not because we've been having this thing simmer for a little. Can we tease a little minutes. bit, Eric? TikTok says it's awesome. It's their big thing last week, so you we, got to try this. The TikTok it's a says beverage. we we'll have to try this much. beverage. It's, it's then, true, right? Then, yeah, you got to believe everything TikTok says. Eric is a slave to TikTok. Yep, <laughs> slave. The TikTok beverage. Buy what is it? it? We're gonna try it next on the Real and Ryan show.